Edge. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plan with DTX Studio Implant, a, a simple uh, number 19 lower molar implant with a surgical guide. We're going to utilize Smart Fusion for importing the uh, intraoral scan along with Smart Setup to help us uh, position the implant for optimal uh, restoration and aesthetics. Simply, we're going to go ahead and, and hit New, Create New Treatment Plan. We're going to import our DICOM file, which I happen to have my file in desktop. I'm going to single click the file. I don't want to double click because then I'll get all the individual slices. Don't want that. We'll go ahead and it will import now. Now we need to check to make sure we have the right patient. And I'll scan. Yep, missing number 19 there. That's the, the file I want. We hit next, convert. Now I need to go ahead and set volume and ISO value. So I'll go ahead and reduce what we don't need. Next, all right, go ahead and set my occlusal plane. Also set the lower jaw and then we can add our dental scan into oral scan here simple as doing importing our DICOM file again it's on desktop it's under lower molar Procera there we go we have it and we can go ahead and open it and smart fusion now has has it in here and so I can change the scanner if I want this happens to be a Nobel Procera desktop scan but you can choose the different scanners you want. And the reason for doing that is, is that it allows DTX Studio Implant to pick up on the nuances that are associated with each scanner and the data associated with it. We go ahead and hit next. Um, I have to deselect the, the missing teeth. We know that 19 is missing, but because we don't have thirds and the arch doesn't go all that far back, we'll go ahead. We're not gonna click on the tooth, but to the adjacent to remove 17 and 32. And we'll go ahead and hit next. And this is where we need to identify the, the matching points so it can merge the intraoral scan with the DICOM file. I like picking a prominent portion on the teeth, the cuspid. And just follow the instructions that it says on the cursor. And then we hit next. And now Smart Fusion is merging the two files together. Now, once it's it's merged together, we're going to go ahead and we're going to check the accuracy to make sure that uh, it's merged and it matches up. So, and all you're simply going to do is move the reslice curve around, or reslice rectangle, and yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, we're going to go ahead and hit finish. We're happy with it. All right, and uh, we're going to go ahead and then. Uh, we're going to pick the view. I happen to like this view. That's just personal preference because I can see the roots. Um, I'm going to remove the wax up and that go over and do it here in the visibility editor. I can remove the dental scan too as well, just to show you. But I want to increase my visibility, so I right click on where I want to be at, hit transparent, and that makes it transparent. Okay. And so, happy with that. Going to go ahead and then hit prosthetic. We're going to do smart setup. 
it's going to go ahead and put a virtual tooth in there that's a little bit more accurate than the wax up. And this, again, is not perfect, but it gives us a, a guideline on positioning and, of our implant. So it gives us an optimal restorative and aesthetic outcome. All right, hit finish. We'll rotate over, re-slice. All right, and we need to go ahead and map out our nerve. So we go to diagnose nerve. All right, I want to move the re-slice curve over, or re-slice over, there we go. So we can identify on the lower left screen. All right, and then we can go ahead and map our met the nerve of the mental foramen. All right, we've done that. We hit finish. And we have our nerve mapped out. Now, before I plan an implant, I want to make sure that I have my access or axes uh, correct. I want to rotate this and I can click on the rectangle. And that will give me commands because this is not in the optimal position. So I need to rotate it mesial and distal. That looks pretty good. So now I can go to plan and I hit implant. And now I'm ready to go ahead and do the shoulder, put the shoulder in the position I want. Put it right there. And I'm going to use the rules of three, three millimeters from the buckle and three millimeters from the free gingival margin. And we see our nerve down below so I can Put the apex of the implant down here. And now what it's going to do is going to pull up the last implant um, from the library that I used. Um, we're going to go ahead, and I think they probably have enough bone to use a 5, so we're going to keep with a 5 regular platform. And for whatever reason, it's showing number 20. It's actually number 19. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that that's correct and, and highlight it. Select the product. All right. And then this is where we can check to see if it's in the proper position. Now I need three millimeters from the crest of the implant to the free gingival margin and three millimeters to the buccal plate. So I can go ahead and go back to diagnose, use the ruler. Three point three. That's not bad. I could probably take that down a little bit. Okay, I can go ahead and highlight the implant and go back to editing. I'm gonna probably gonna need more than than from uh, here to here, so I can rotate that, or I can hit here. And then I can take it down the depth. I don't trust my hand, so I can manually move it more precise. That actually looks pretty good. This area is our worn area. Uh, we typically want one and a half 
Um, it's one and a half from here to here between an adjacent tooth, and then it's two at the apex. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll just check back just to make sure how are we doing our distance from the buckle plate. And we're right at three. Okay, not bad. Okay, we'll go ahead, back to plan. I want to look at our access hole. So we're going to rotate. All right, our access hole looks a little off. It's not quite in the central fossil, but that's probably we can be corrected with an ASC. Um, we see our cylinder, so I can go ahead and turn off smart setup, and our cylinder's not in too bad a position. All right, and we're ready. So we can go, we know surgical type, we're gonna do a fully guided. So we're gonna to go to finalize. We're gonna go ahead, create a template. We want fully guided, it's RP, it's a number 19, so we're happy with that. Now we have the choice of either having it sent through Noble BioCare or we can utilize DTX Go account and send it to another lab, which there'll be a $49 fee. Hit next. All right, it's creating the template for us. There are no pins in here. And the warning up on top here in the right-hand corner will be saying that there are no pins, but uh, there's no need for pins, obviously. It's just uh, one tooth missing. And we would definitely use pins on a fully edentulous patient. All right, there we have it. We hit finish. We agree to it. And we're just going to go ahead and approve later. All right, and we have our plan that's finalized, but now we can create a report for the patient or our referral and also a communicator uh, report that can be used on our, on our app. So we simply hit report, save. I'm going to save as uh, Mrs. Smith. Again, number 19, we hit next. All right, we have up to seven pages. We can highlight them to take them out or bring them back up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and finish. And then we need to export it so that it can be sent off as an email or printed. So we hit export. We're going to select a location. Um, I'm going to select my desktop again and uh, call this uh, Mrs. Smith 19. Save. Save here. All right, and we have our report, and we simply can go into our Outlook, create an email, and then attach this PDF file or go into our, our library and print it. Next thing is, is for a communicator. We hit communicator on top. Next.
and it's generating the report. And what you're simply going to do is, is uh, you can make notes. Again, this is Smith 19. We hit finish. We agree. And it'll take a little bit of time here, just a, a few seconds for it to come up. You'll see a bar up on the top here for progression. And then uh, once that is finished, then we're going to go ahead and hit share up on top here. And we can choose someone to send it to an email. We can send it to ourselves. We'll create a password. And then you'll have a, a, a user ID number along with a password that we can enter into the Nobel communicator so that we can uh, demonstrate what we planned and show um, what treatment options are available for uh, case acceptance for the patient. Sorry for this being slow. It's almost done. All right, now we're going to go ahead and, like I said before, share it. Type in an email of the person you want it to send to. Make any personal note. And then you can create any uh, password you want. Uh, keep it simple and easy to use, lower 19, and hit share. And that's it. And just under 18 minutes uh, with me narrating, we planned uh, an implant case using DTX Studio Implant. Hope this helped. Take care.